A North Idaho man appeared in front of a judge today accused of raping and trying to strangle a woman at her Coeur d'Alene home. This isn't Thomas Dickerson's first run in with the law. His criminal history includes at least five prior felony convictions in Idaho and Washington State. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl live in Coeur d'Alene tonight. Tanya. Well, Dave, in court this afternoon, we learned that Dickerson was actually sentenced 20 years ago for raping a child in Washington state, and now he's accused of raping a Coeur d'Alene woman. And he told a judge today that that charge was, quote, BS. Dressed in red jail scrubs, Thomas Dickerson waited to be called forward by Judge Scott Wayman for his first appearance in Kootenai County District Court. The 40-year-old is charged with rape and battery with intent to commit serious harm. Coeur d'Alene police officers got called out to this neighborhood early Saturday morning. The victim told police that Dickerson hit her in the face, tried strangling her, and then raped her before leaving her house. Police later spotted Dickerson driving in the neighborhood and arrested him. Judge Wayman told Dickerson today that he's considered a persistent violator and that this newest rape charge violates his terms of probation. The violations are that you committed a new offense, that, were that you were consuming alcohol, and that you violated curfew. According to the court, Dickerson's criminal record stretches from 1990 to 2008. Felonies include rape of a child, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of stolen property. He's also failed to register as a sex offender in both Pierce and Kootenai counties. And today, a judge ordered that his bond be set at $500,000. The judge also said that he should not have any contact with that victim. She was treated at Kootenai Medical Center and released. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.